Oh, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, end of day, the 12th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, the aftermath of post Yellen, and again, certainly caught off guard today. Certainly didn't expect her to be as dovish as she was. And she certainly has sent this market into a uh, bit of a frenzy. And it's no surprise that European markets were loading up in the morning. Uh, European uh, rally this morning really was quite strange. And now, obviously, it's explained with Yellen's uh, dovishness. So it certainly seems like there was a lot of front running and uh, illegal trading going on today. Uh, as, they, uh, as the European traders certainly got the memo well in advance. Hence the reason why they were pumping the market up. And also the reason why US equities certainly bounced off sharply off the lows yesterday. Even though we had the news with regards to Trump Jr., uh, the markets don't care. They're certainly focusing on the fact that uh, Miss Yellen is going to be dovish for longer, and therefore they certainly uh, applaud that. And therefore, uh, we actually got the uh, short squeeze certainly occurred or started yesterday. European rally started yes this morning, and uh, it's no surprise that Miss Yellen ends up being dovish. So it certainly seems a lot of fraud and activity going on in this market, but that's been the case for some time now. Lot of all the insider trading and so on and so forth. Anyway, regardless, that's the situation. Okay, so um, European markets, where did they close? Uh, European markets, even though the Asian markets were down overnight, they obviously didn't get the memo from Miss Yellen. So somebody obviously didn't give them access to inside information. Looks like the European friends certainly did. Uh, so the FTSE 100 up, uh, up at 87 points. Very impressive. Now the FTSE itself, to be honest with you, you can justify the rally on the FTSE best based on the fact that Mr. Broadbent was uh, dovish. And uh, the uh, employment data for the UK certainly came in stronger than, expe stronger than expected. And therefore, the rally itself, from a fundamental perspective, just internally, from the UK perspective, certainly was justified to a large degree. Now, the uh, German DAX rallying almost 200 points. Now, that's very strange. OK, that's what I can say. Very, very strange. Although the economic data has been strong yesterday and the day before, yet, yet it failed to spur a rally. So today certainly was... One hell of a rally. So 200 point rally there, almost 1.5% higher. CAC as well, up 80 points, up 1.6%. FTSE MIB up a whopping 320 points, up 1.5%. FTSE MIB and Euro stock and stock 600 both up more than one percentage point. So quite an impressive and a very healthy rally to say the least. Okay, so let's see where we stand then. Where is this market heading uh, and where are we actually going now? Let's try and work this out. Okay, so from a... Um, Technical perspective, let's see exactly where we are. The German DAX, as you can see here, is a monster rally. Daily chart certainly has re retraced now more than 50%. You have the gap fill at 12.770, so keep an eye on that gap fill at 12.770. 60 minute chart, again, we are slamming into the previous support equals resistance zone at 12.650. We have 12.725 and 12.770 as resistance, so keep an eye out for those. The 10 minute chart, let's look at the 10 minute chart. We are into pivot R3 resistance now. So again, that certainly is holding us for resistance. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's look at the French CAC here. Okay, so the French CAC itself, certainly short squeezing higher, very impressive here. Short squeezing into 50% resistance at present. Okay, you have the unfilled gap below at uh, 5060 and that certainly remains in play. Ideally for now, it's more of a bear flag. If anything, it's more of a short squeeze bounce. Okay, so we certainly had the bounce from these pivot low at 5120. We've hit previous support equals resistance, hit 200 MA, and you are into that pivot R3 resistance as well in the 10 minute chart. You have the unfilled gap below seen at 5140, so keep an eye on that gap, so folks. Okay, 5140 is your gap to close below. FTSE 100, pivot high. Let's move to the daily chart first of all as we are into that 50%. And you are into that 200 MA resistance as well. Sorry, 50 MA resistance as well. Let me just quickly add that moving average. It's not here at the moment. Okie dokie. Okay, so there we go. So we get 200 MA resistance. Let me just quickly save that so I don't have to keep doing that every time. Okay, here we go. Okay. So that's where we stand, okay? So you've got the, the 50 MA resistance, and obviously the uh, uh, you have the 50% uh, 50, 50 retracement. You have the diagonal trend line resistance as well. 
Okay, so we are into, uh, slamming into resistance as well at 7440. So watch out for 7440 resistance on the retracement. You are looking at support at 7385, the breakout territory. So watch out there as well. In terms of the 10 minute chart, let's just zoom in. 10 minute chart certainly found resistance at 7440 zone. Okay, you have support at 7310 and then the 7400. And if you continue to flush, then you are looking at 7390. Uh, and then we'll see uh, subsequently thereafter. Okay, so certainly the breakout zone. Euro stocks is into resistance. Previous support equals resistance. You have fib um, fifty percent resistance as well. Uh, you are you do have lower lows and lower highs. So just bear all that in mind. Certainly a lot of arguments for the continuation lower. You have this key diagonal trend line as well. So three five thirty certainly does uh, represent immense resistance. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the 60 minute chart for the euro stocks. You are into that 200 MA previous support equals resistance. You have that fib retracement now up 75%, and therefore that will like equal resistance. 10 minute chart at the moment certainly thrusted higher. Okie dokie. Uh, again, your breakout zone is here at 3495. So if we retrace 3495, will equal support 3480, and then eventually. Gap fill at 3465. That's your support zones. Okay, I think that certainly is a summation for uh, European equities. Be sure to visit Trade Signaler, uh, the signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.